Hi, my name is Michelle Holland. I'm the creative director of Synergy IQ. And I'm really interested in your opinion on something. Planning. Planning is what I want to talk to you about. Because I quite often have conversations with clients around their plans, particularly their strategies, because uh, the strategy is one of the foundation stones of developing the kind of culture that you actually want to have in your business. So I quite often talk about strategies um, and quite often that lends itself to talk about business planning, particularly the business planning process and uh, action planning, etc., etc. Now here's the thing, and this is what I would like your opinion on. How extensive a strategy do you need? I've come across a lot of uh, different types of strategies and uh, there's you know a trend towards a strategy on a page or a soap as I've seen them be called so a strategy on a page I um, really quite like that idea as far as your strategy is concerned um, and this isn't about you know creating an extensive action plan document and putting it in six point and then trying to squeeze it on an A3 size piece of paper. <laughs> it literally is a soap, is a overarching strategy that anyone in your business can pick up and get a sense of the direction that you're heading in. So I really like that idea. Um, the question then is how much more detail do you actually need? Because I've worked in businesses and I've worked with clients who have extensive planning processes. Um, not surprising, a lot of them are in the government uh, sector and they'll have an extensively long strategy document um, and business plans. They might have uh, action plans for different uh, types of um, elements within the strategy. Uh, they also have business plans that uh, their departments may use and they have action plans for those departments and then they have personal action plans for the individuals. So very, very structured as far as planning is concerned and I can totally see the benefit of doing that um, but I also see the time and effort that goes into this whole development process. Um, I've worked in businesses with, um, with clients that have whole teams of people devoted to helping other people develop business plans. So when you think about the cost involved of having three or four people within your business whose job it is to help you develop a plan, that's a lot of time, effort and money that's going into these planning processes. So I'm really interested to hear your comments about what the benefits are about having these extensive planning processes beyond the usual of you know keeping track and trending and all that sort of stuff but the real benefits like the real ones and uh, so just you know comment below talk to me about you know your experiences with uh, plans on pages and extensive plans um, having no plans because I know there's a lot of startups out there that just don't have a plan at all and they hustle and hustle and hustle and, and create what an amazing business so yeah let's just have a talk about planning I'm really interested in uh, your views on it so comment below wherever you find this video if it's Facebook or LinkedIn or on the website or wherever it is that would be great just pop a comment below um, because this is something that really fascinates me about how people get the best out of their plans my name is Michelle Holland. I'm from Synergy IQ, your transformation.